In numerical analysis, Simpson's rule is a method for numerical integration, the numerical approximation of definite integrals. Specifically, it is the following approximation. Simpson's rule also corresponds to the three-point Newton Coates quadrature rule. The method is credited to the mathematician Thomas Simpson of Leicestershire, England. Kepler used similar formulas over 100 years prior. For this reason the method is sometimes called Kepler's rule, or Keplerische Fassregel in German. Derivation. Simpson's rule can be derived in various ways. Quadratic interpolation 1 derivation replaces the integrand by the quadratic polynomial which takes the same values as at the end points R and B, and the midpoint M equals 2. One can use Lagrange polynomial interpolation to find an expression for this polynomial. An easy calculation shows that this calculation can be carried out more easily if one first observes that there is no loss of generality in, assuming that an averaging the midpoint in the trapezoidal rules another derivation constructs Simpson's rule from two simpler approximations. The two terms are not equal, see big O notation for more details. It follows from the above formulas for the errors of the midpoint and trapezoidal rule that the leading error term vanishes if we take the weighted average. This weighted average is exactly Simpson's rule. Using another approximation, it is possible to take a suitable weighted average and eliminate another error term. This is Romberg's method. Undetermined coefficients The third derivation starts from the ansatz The coefficients alpha, beta and gamma can be fixed by requiring that this approximation be exact for all quadratic polynomials. This yields Simpson's rule. Error. The error in approximating an integral by Simpson's rule is where is some number between in. The error is asymptotically proportional to. However, the above derivations suggest an error proportional to. Simpson's rule gains an extra order because the points at which the integrand is evaluated are distributed symmetrically in the interval a, b. Since the error term is proportional to the fourth derivative of effort, this shows that Simpson's rule provides exact results for any polynomial f of degree 3 or less. Since the fourth derivative of such a polynomial is zero at all points, composite Simpson's rule. If the interval of integration is in some sense small, then Simpson's rule will provide an adequate approximation to the exact integral. By small, what we really mean is that the function being integrated is relatively smooth over the interval. For such a function, a smooth quadratic interpolant like the one used in Simpson's rule will give good results. However, it is often the case that the function we are trying to integrate is not smooth over the interval. Typically, this means that either the function is highly oscillatory, or it lacks derivatives at certain points. In these cases, Simpson's rule may give very poor results. One common way of handling this problem is by breaking up the interval into a number of small sub-intervals. Simpson's rule is then applied to each sub-interval, with the results being summed to produce an approximation for the integral over the entire interval. This sort of approach is termed the composite Simpson's rule. Suppose that the interval is split up in sub-intervals with an even number. Then, the composite Simpson's rule is given by wherefore with, in particular, and this composite rule with corresponds with the regular Simpson's rule of the preceding section. The above formula can also be written as the error committed by the composite Simpson's rule is bounded by where is the step length. Given by this formulation splits the interval in sub-intervals of equal length. In practice, it is often advantageous to use sub-intervals of different lengths, and concentrate the efforts on the places where the integrand is less well-behaved. This leads to the adaptive Simpson's method. Alternative extended Simpson's rule. This is another formulation of a composite Simpson's rule. Instead of applying Simpson's rule to disjoint segments of the integral to be approximated, Simpson's rule is applied to overlapping segments, yielding. The formula above is obtained by combining the original composite Simpson's rule with the one consisting in using Simpson's 3 eighths rule in the extreme, sub-intervals and the standard three-point rule in the remaining sub-intervals. 
The result is then obtained by taking the mean of the two formulas. Simpson's three-eighths rule. Simpson's three-eighths rule is another method for numerical integration proposed by Thomas Simpson. It is based upon a cubic interpolation rather than a quadratic interpolation. Simpson's three-eighths rule is as follows, where b a equals 3h. The error of this method is, where is some number between in. Thus, the 3 eighths rule is about twice as accurate as the standard method, but it uses one more function value. A composite 3 eighths rule also exists, similarly as above. A further generalization of this concept for interpolation with arbitrary degree polynomials are the newton coates formulas. Simpson's 3 eighths rule. Defining, we have note, we can only use this if is a multiple of 3. A simplified version of Simpson's rules are used in naval architecture. The 3 eighth rule is also called Simpson's second rule. Sample implementations. Python An implementation of the composite Simpson's rule in Python 3. Hash, USR, bin, ENV Python 3 from underscore underscore future underscore underscore import division hash Python 2 compatibility def Simpson approximates the definite integral of f from a to b by the composite Simpson's rule using n subintervals if n percent 2 raise value era percent n h equals n s equals f plus f for i in range s plus equals 4 asterisk f for i in range s plus equals 2 asterisk f return s asterisk h 3 hash demonstrate that the method is exact for polynomials up to third order print hash 2500.0 print hash 2500.0 print hash 20,833.3333333 print hash 20,000.0 Note that this function is available in sippiascipi.integrate.simps. See this is an equivalency implementation of the algorithm.